Welcome back to Zona Studios, and today we're working on a groove using virtual instruments plus real live instruments as well. So I'm using a combination of both. It's a short kind of a loop here, but it gives you the idea. So basically what I did was I created the MIDI files in Pro Tools with Expand. Um, after they were all done, I basically... Uh, made them into audio files. Um, I always like to do that just in case um, the next time I open the project doesn't load correctly. Anyway, this is the synth part that I came up with um, at the beginning of the song. So this is just the synth, the first part that I came up with. So here it is. <laughs> Then I added uh, superior drummer, claustrophobic drums, and I came to this. Okay. Then... We moved on to, uh, I did a pad next. So let's do the pad part. Let's just make sure these guys are not armed. Okay, let's go back here. All right, then I added this pad part. So here we go. I added a little bit of organ right here. Uh, the next two elements were me playing, so would be bass guitar, actual Fender jazz bass. So here we go. And I added some guitar using the 11 rack. Here we go. And last but not least, I off did another drum track, enhancing the other drum track using a virtual instrument called Boom. Um, so that's, I'm going to solo. Maybe what I'll do is I will solo um, the two drum tracks together. So you can see how the two of those guys work together. Here we go. Let's start from the beginning. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, we're going, we're going to go slay riding, yeah. Um, the cool thing is, too, is you don't have to use all the parts. So, for instance, let's say I just want to get the groove going with just my bass guitar and those two drum tracks that I just did. You get this. Too much chocolate, too 
much chocolate. I ate too much chocolate. All right. And, um, and then we can just put everything together. Let's see here. What are we doing? I don't know. Yeah. So basically that's the gist. So I would say that if ever you're going to be adding virtual instruments to your project, make sure that you add some real playing along with the virtual instruments or the sequence parts just to give it a little more human feeling to it. So you're not totally robotic. So that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.